Hey, um, Sneaky FX here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I get my dad's old quality, because, I don't know, my quality looks a lot better than some people's. And I use the black dazzle, and I record with an S video cable. And in, in the description, I'll put a link to what I use. I think you could even play in HD if you use an S video cable, because it's just like a different extension, but you'll have to buy different cords, because you need a cord that goes also goes to S video along with like VGA or HD. And also, with I use Virtual Dub. And when you use virtual dub, like it detects like everything, and like when you go, you go to capture AVI, and then you could change your device, and you could just pick the dazzle, and then for audio, you're gonna have to use a different like little thing, and I'll put it in the description. It's like it's really cheap, but it's an extra thing that you'll need to buy if you want audio. But a lot of people don't really use audio that much because if you just get the gun noise, you could like use it to sync or whatever. But if you do, I'll just put that in the description, and it's easy to figure out how to do it. But I, when I record with this, I crop my video, and that's because it looks a lot better when it's not as stretched out in Sony or Sony Vegas. Like when you have to. This is just doing it instead so there's not the black bars around it when you're recording. And these are the settings I use. Because this just is like a default color correction, kind of. Which is kind of nice. And you could go to this and like preview your video. And then change it if you want to have a default color correction for all your videos. But some people like having different color corrections for different videos. So that's why I just keep it. Like I just made it everything even out. And... There's like a lot of different settings that you could change in this. And, but what I want to show you is my cropping. And I crop XY to 8 and Y2 to 4. That's like pretty much all you need to know. And like this is like what my screen looks like when I record. I don't know if you can see what this looks like. But there's no, like, green little bars. There's little staticky things on the side. That's pretty much what I get rid of, because I think Sony Vegas does... Oh, uh, my God, this is freezing. I think Sony Vegas does a bad job of, like, resizing it. So this is X, X1 is 8. X2, 10. Y2, 4. And it ends up being 702 by 476. That's a weird size, but... It works, and this is done freezing. I'll show you the next part. All right, so let's go to this one. After you get your clips, you could edit them kind of in virtual dub. I can't see that. And like, you could like cut clips in virtual dub too. Like, I don't think you'd see this actually right now. But I'm, like, going through my clip, and then you're, like, seeing what's happening. And, like, you compress this one to start the cut, and this one to end the cut. And, like, you play it for every frame. This program has a lot of options. But what I do for every single video, no matter what, I go to Filters, Add a Filter, Add the interlace It's an internet, like, it comes with the program. And then I do the, you keep this, the regular one, and then I choose the bottom one. You try the top one, but... Like, it changed the blackness of the scope, pretty much, and I think this one just looks better. And then, you could change more stuff. Like, I downloaded a lot of these. Like, if they don't say internal, I downloaded them. And, if you really want some of these, I could put it in the description. I might just upload my version that has all these installed, but I don't use really any of these. But like, some of these are just default things that you do for color correction. You could blur it. You could put a random black box. I don't know. And, let's see the black box. I don't, know. I don't think you can see that though. Alright, and then if you look, there should be a difference between your two screens now. And one of them should have, like, you could be able to tell there's lines and it looks one looks a lot cleaner and one really doesn't. That's pretty much it. And for compression, because AVI is really big, you're going to want to compress your files. That's the only thing bad about virtual dub because it records the AVI. And two compressions that really don't change the quality too much are these two and 
This one's Act 264 FVFW. Um, it's really good, but I don't really use it anymore because if you see, it has to be a multiple of two for both height and width. And with my cropping, it doesn't work, so it doesn't really work for me. But for this one is the new one that I use because I used to use this one when I didn't crop it before. I know I use this one and it works just fine, but th that's only if you want to um, compress it. But I'm not going to compress it actually because that takes longer. <laughs> and then just save it. You can only do one clip at a time, but you don't really close anything. You just do save. And if you have a fast computer, this should be really fast, especially if you're not compressing it. And if, my computer is not even that fast, and I could do this clip kind of fast, but I'm like I I render those the exact same way. Like this one was on the exact same way. And now I'll do the rendering. It's also really loud. So if you record the audio like I did, it's really loud. So just bear in mind. And hopefully you could see this because I know I cropped it when I recorded it. This is the clip that I got. And go to this, change it to HD. The only settings I changed in this are this, 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 and I think I might change this, but this doesn't really matter, I don't think. And then apply. And it'll make it big. But go to properties, maintain aspect ratio, ratio disable resample. That's all you really have to do. Okay, and then there's no black lines because you already cropped it, so you don't have to do that. And then I have preset dazzle that I made, and this actually isn't anything, I don't think. Oh, I guess it is. I like it better without it, actually. But brightness, I just made the brightness negative 0 0.05, contrast 0 0.02, and then I left it as the same... And then I did an unsharp mask of 0.200, and that's pretty much all I did. Really easy. And you could do this. Actually, I don't think I changed anything. I just made it a little bit brighter. But if you want to look at this, I just messed with the settings, I think. Well, those are the settings. Hopefully you could see that. And then file, render as. And you could see my render settings, but they're the same as, like, everything. CBR, Windows Media Audio 10 Professional, 120 kilobytes per second, 4, 8, 48 kilohertz, 2 channel, 16 bit AV CBR. Video CBR, Windows Media 9, high def, square, make sure it's square. Frame weight 29 by 97, just because it's a dazzle. 5 sounds perky, I guess. Override 3. And then make sure that it's the sharpest. Yeah. That's usually the best. I don't think this matters. I just left it like that. Make sure there's a preview. That's another really important. Save. Slow computer. Gonna take a while.